The Pout Pout Fish and the Mad Mad Day by Deborah Deason. Pictures by Dan Hanna. The first thing that happened on that mad mad morning was a broken favorite souvenir. It shattered without warning. <gasps> Mr. Fish was left with pieces that he tried to reassemble. <sighs> but his glue stick was missing. His pout began to tremble. Hmm. Yay! Woohoo! He went to tell his friends, but they didn't seem to care. He thought they were ignoring him. He felt his temper flare. He swirled away in anger, and his fins got whirled round. He lost his fishy balance, and he bumped into the ground. Oh! He tangled with some seaweed as he tried to swim away. He splashed and thrashed and crashed about. His thoughts in disarray. A feeling filled his gills, and a sound began to stir. Much bigger than a blob, it was a mad, mad. Alarmed, his friends came over, and they gathered by his side. What's wrong? They asked him worriedly. With effort, he replied, Ugh. "It's been one thing, then another, then another stacked on top. I am mad and getting madder, and I don't know how to stop." Yum yum. Miss Clam consoled her fuming friend. We've all at times been mad. It's a challenging emotion, but it doesn't mean you're bad. She's right," said Mr. Jelly. "And there's much that you can do to restore your inner balance and return to feeling you." Ugh. Mr. Fish said, "Weren't you listening? I am angry to the brim." He scowled and turned away from them. His mad in charge of him. <sighs> It's been one thing, then another, then another stacked on top. My mad keeps getting bigger, and there's no way it will stop. <sighs> <laughs> Mrs. Squid replied, "You've got this. To get started, simply breathe. Then slowly count from one to ten to counteract the seeth." Mr. Fish was not persuaded, but reluctantly he tried. A long breath. And counting too, it soothed him deep inside. <sighs> he felt a little better, and he wasn't quite as ruffled. But there's still grrr inside me, Mr. Fish's thought kerfuffled. It been one thing, then another, then another stacked on top. All that mad had made a muddle. Could he really make it stop?
Mr. Lantern shone his light. When you're hurt or feeling sad, disappointed, scared, or worried, those can channel into mad. The solution, said Miss Shimmer, is to talk about what's wrong. Pick words for what you're feeling. When you use them, you are strong. It's too hard, said Mr. Fish, with his voice close to despair. But he breathed again, in, out, <gasps> and then began to share. He shared one thing, then another, then another stacked on top. His load began to lighten, his mad began to stop. His friends all listened closely as he spoke about his morning. He reflected on the feelings that were anger's early warning. He talked about the troubles that had made his angry mix. They changed with calm attention into problems he could fix. It takes one thing, then another, then another stacked on top. But with words and self-compassion, I bring anger to a stop. Glue stick. The pout pout fish had faced his mad. And look, the missing glue. The pieces are together. Mr. Fish feels good as new. Machu Picchu, official souvenir. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.